Hey guys, so welcome to your love reading for Gemini. This is going to be for uh, the uh, month of your February 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their uh, true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice. What else you guys need to know? look out for, work on. So apply this to your own unique situation. You could switch to roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Gemini people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right, tell me about... Um, Tell me about Gemini here in love. Tell me about Gemini in love. Over energies for Gemini regarding love and the person that they are connecting with here for uh, February 2023. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Gemini. We have the Eight of Cups here and Justice. Libra energy here. I feel like you're finally going to accept some sort of truth here or see some sort of truth here that's going to propel you to walk away from a situation where there's a lack of balance here, I feel, okay? It, it's sort of like one of those situations that is, one of those situations that you're realizing that you could be taking on someone's karma and this karma is something that you don't want, okay? So justice, leave our energy here. We have the Ten of Cups here and the Queen of Wands. Wow. This is interesting because I, one of the things I'm getting here is that someone here, let's say there's a situation where, you know, you're about to get married to somebody, someone's about to marry you, but I feel like someone here is about to get cold feet and walk away. Yeah, so uh, Queen of Wands and the Ten of Cups here. The Chariot here and the Five of Cups. I'm getting a bit of a runaway bride energy here. Yeah. Whoever this is, someone here is about to run away from a commitment. Yeah. And I feel like you're going to be really disappointed by the situation here. Because, um, Gemini, I feel like you are you don't see this coming. Now, it doesn't have to be marriage. You know, it could be just that you felt like things were going really, really, really well. And, you know, this person out of nowhere just walked away. Let's see. Eight of Cups. Ten of Wands, Justice, Ace of Cups. Hmm. Ten of Cups, Eight of Swords, Queen of Wands, Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. Okay, whoever this is, this is an individual that fears commitment. This is an individual that cannot commit. Uh, this person's scared to fall in love. And I feel like this person has fallen in love. And they got scared and walked off. Or will walk off. King of, uh, so Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. Someone here has a strong military background or someone here works in law enforcement. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Five of Cups here, and the Moon. So this person, all these feelings about you, what they're thinking, what they've been fearing, everything has been really percolating within them. And they feel like they kept it to themselves and they feel like you had no idea. Whoever this is, this person has an, it has an incredibly good poker face. You had no idea that this was going on. Yeah, all this fear, all this anxiety here. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, it seems like their poker face got you. Or maybe you have a poker face and you somehow got this person, okay? 
uh, tell me about the person that Gemini is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Gemini for the uh, month of February 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for uh, Gemini. The Nine of Pentacles here in the Queen of Swords. We have the Two of Pentacles here in Nine of Swords. And the King of Wands here in the Three of Wands. I mean, we have someone here that finds you very attractive, intelligent, okay? But I feel like I feel like this person doesn't really know what they want. Or that this person could be juggling you. Yeah, it could be that this person got scared. This person found someone else to sort of distract themselves here. Whoever this is, this is an individual that's only looking for a fun time, okay? But they're not going to stay for a long time. I do feel like this person fears commitment, fears falling in love, okay? You know, I feel like this person is more into like bonking someone here than actually like getting to know someone emotionally. This person is more of a physical person, you know, kind of like they go by looks here, okay? Three of Wands, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Nine of Pentacles here, uh, the Hermit, Virgo, Energy, the Queen of Swords here, and the Page of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here. I mean, I feel like this person, I mean, it's definitely like a control thing. It's definitely like some sort of power play here. I feel like this person's trying to it's like they're trying to get you to chase them. Yeah, but you're not chasing. Yeah, you're not chasing here. Okay, Page of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I mean, you have better things to do than uh, running around running around chasing per, uh, chasing someone here, uh, Gemini. Okay, uh, Two of Pentacles, the Star, Aquarius Energy, the Nine of Swords here, and the Nine of Wands. I mean, this person has a lot. I, I do feel like this person suffers from depression here. This person has a lot of traumas here when it comes to, uh, you know, love. You know, whoever this is, I feel like this person might have had to grow up really quickly. And I feel like this person never had like, uh, you know, uh, the love shown to them uh, or given to them by their parents here. King of Wands, the Emperor here, Aries Energy, the Three of Wands here, and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It seems like this person does have a couple of people here that they're dealing with here there's three different queens here actually there's like four people <laughs> yeah um the queen of wands the queen of cups the queen of swords and the nine of pentacles here tell me about uh gemini here outcome and advice here for gemini regarding their love situation what else does gemini need to know look out for and work on here for gemini The Death card in the Fool, Six of Cups in the Seven of Pentacles, the Hierophant and Temperance. Okay, the Death card here in the Fool. Um, so what's going to happen here is that I feel like you're just going to close the door on this here. You know, perhaps your feelings towards this person has changed and I feel like you're going to move on from this person. Okay, um, you know, I just feel like you're just not going to waste any more time on the past with the Six of Cups here and the Seven of the Pentacles. And you know, you're just gonna, with the Hierophant here and the Temperance card, you're just gonna focus on your healing here, uh, Gemini. Hierophant, Taurus energy, with the Hierophant, uh, Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, I, I just feel like you just don't wanna deal with the drama or that you don't wanna be this person's option here. The Death card. We have the Six of Swords, the Fool, and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, Gemini, you're gonna move on towards uh, uh, towards a new beginning here for yourself. Now, this could be an indication that, you know, the person that you're dealing with here cannot move on without you and they want to start all over again here with you, okay? Six of Cups, Three of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. I do feel like this mask and the will come back around trying to reconcile here with you. But like I said, I feel like you're going to keep the door closed on this. T uh, the Hierophant. We have the Two of Wands, Temperance, and the Six of Wands here. Six plus two is eight. Yeah, you're just gonna leave this behind. Any sort of communication that you get from this person, I feel like you're gonna be unbothered by it, Gemini, okay? So Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one, all right? Thanks, guys. Bye.